Hello, my name is Claudia Klein and today we're going to focus on creating a strong toned upper body. Let's connect our unbreakable resistant band to the high anchor point for the next group of exercises. This exercise is back rows. Ensure that there is adequate tension on the resistant band at the starting position. Pull the bands towards the bottom of your chest, starting with pulling from the back, then using the arms. Squeeze the back and slowly return to the starting point. Now it's your turn. This exercise is the face pull. Starting point is just above your shoulder height, ensuring that there is enough tension when you start. Pull the cables towards your ears. The focus of this exercise is predominantly on your rear delts. Focus on those during this exercise. Your turn. This exercise is the standing lat pull down. Starting position is a 45 degree angle of the upper body. Straight arms and tension on the bands. Ensure that your back is straight and neck is aligned with the back. Then pull your arms down towards your hips. The focus here is on your lats, the middle part of your back and also your shoulders. Now it's your turn. This exercise is a chest press. Face the opposite direction of the resistant band, holding the handles in your hand. Start with positioning your hands next to your chest, then pushing your hands straight forward. Ensure that there is enough tension. To increase tension, move forward. You should feel your chest working when you press the handles forward.
This exercise is the alternating chest press. Face the opposite direction of the resistant band, holding the handles in your hands. Start with positioning your hands next to your chest, then pushing one arm straight forward. Then alternate arms as you go. Ensure that there is enough tension. To increase tension, move forward. You should feel your chest working when you press the handles forward. Off you go. This exercise is a chest fly. Face the opposite direction of the resistant band, holding the handles in your hands. Start with open arms, then closing them in front of you. Ensure that your arms are straight during this movement, and as you are focusing on working your chest, when closing, move the arms in front of your chest. You should feel your chest contracting upon closing arms. Now it's your turn. This exercise is the overhead tricep extension. Face the opposite direction of the resistant band, holding the handles in your hands. Start with positioning above your head with a bend in the elbows. Then move your arms forwards into straight arms. Do this without moving the elbows. Now it's your turn. This exercise is the alternating bicep curl. Starting position of this exercise is positioning the arm in a tense position, contracting the biceps and aiming for a 90 degree angle of the elbows. Then slowly release and lengthen the arm. Alternate per arm to focus solely on each side, ensuring that each side has the love and attention it deserves.
This is a tricep extension. Lock your elbows in on the side of your torso. Then pull the cable backwards, ensuring that your arms end up straight with minimal movement of the elbows. The tension, as the name reveals, is in your triceps. Then return to the starting position and repeat. Let's all have a short rest break, rehydrate with some water, and repeat the last group of exercises.
Thanks for joining me in today's session. If you liked it, make sure you share it with your friends and social media. I will see you next time for another sweaty workout. And remember, it's all about consistency.